we have a, a green view. So, okay, now. When we look at this, ILTS are actual map to on a Tashundur Hobbit. It again do very, you know, homemade. But sure, I'll say actor actual map as a on a tag buchan of Hobbit. I like to better presentation, but the concept is the same. Okay, we've got a bunch of buildings, right? A bunch of, you know, H building, A, D, I, road, A, B, C, E, F, G, H. You know, you got a lot of letters. Tikatse. They're gonna describe to you while you know, st like starting from a starting point. Okay, they're always gonna have a certain starting point, right? And another thing, they're always gonna mention stuff according to these. <clears throat> so, you can take the restaurants, it's next to the restaurants, it's near the restaurants. So, that's one way they're gonna describe. Another way they're gonna describe H building trees across the road these are the ways you want to hear right and i mean click or boy after this theory it's i don't expect right answers or nothing nothing like that i just want you guys to get used to the format of how they present the data how they present the information right and tarpur i'm a for make the handout global and tarpur i'm actually the practice i mean i can take a handout there and then you can print and have it ready to go or just have it in front of you at least pdf each other so let me press play and just check it out. I'll just see what you can catch. Section one. You will hear a university administrator telling a group of new students about the central campus buildings and the facilities they provide. First, you have some time to look at questions one to six. During this time, guys, I'm going to keep a restaurant. It's a goal. Gold building C, mm -hmm. it's around, right? So that's a way. That's another way they might describe. Baki shop gula kintu ki square. This is round, right? Then you have three options, right, next to each other. Very careful. They're, they're going to use restaurants. They're going to use trees, right? Make it full screen. Listen <clears throat> carefully and answer questions one to six. Welcome everyone to the Brandon Complex, the geographical and we could say spiritual heart of this university. This is basically where everyone eats too, as you can see by looking around. There are many different cuisines here. Chinese, Indian, and Middle Eastern, plus the usual fare of a local type, all in that corner over there. Okay, so do you see, guys, the corner over there, Tarmani Kiyama, the starting point of a restaurant, Chinese, right, all this cuisine and stuff. So, we have many shops here too, but the biggest is Wilson's right there providing clothing and hardware that's next to all the restaurants now what did she just say wilson's is next to it all was... of the restaurant mm -hmm. so kunda uh, abe b very good Bikla. and it's just like that they're gonna use the information they give to you that's the thing so wilson's pegalam next on the opposite side of wilson's we have three shops the one in the corner there, closest to the restaurants, is for DVDs. The one in the corner, closest to the restaurants, is for DVDs. Kunta Habe? C. G. Okay. G. Arik Bashuno? No worries, no worries. Dako? Right there, providing clothing and hardware. That's next to all the restaurants. Okay. Now, on the opposite side of Wilson's, we have three shops. The one in the corner there, closest to the restaurants, is for DVDs. Yes, the DVDs are cheap and affordable, and you can also rent DVD players as well. So, Akon Dako, is it G or J? That is the question now. Okay, guys, think about that, okay? I got some back. The both of them are opposite to B. That right, opposite to B. to B. Right, but the one nearest to the restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. 
In the corner there, closest to the restaurants, is for DVDs. Yes, the DVDs are cheap and affordable, and you can also rent DVD players as well. Right, so it's going to be G. 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 Okay, good. Moving on. In the corner directly opposite Wilson's is the student union office. Incidentally. In the corner directly opposite of Wilson's. Kunta mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. You see? So you guys are good. Very good. You are all encouraged to join the student union. As a student union card gives you many benefits, including discounts on basically everything you can buy here at the Brandon Complex. Outside this complex, on the other side of the road... On the other side of the road. You can just see it from here, in fact, is a building that we call by the rather unusual name, the H Building. Next to this, on the other side of some trees along the main road, is the Engineering Institute. I... Very good. But that doesn't have anything to do with the Brandon Complex. One last thing is that just outside this door, near us here, you can see a grassy oval patch. Well, that's the playing field for what we simply call the fitness room, which is alongside. Grassy oval patch. Mm -hmm. Which one is that going to be? Oval see. shape it to see. Very good, very good. So you can put on some calories here at the restaurant and then burn them off at the fitness room afterwards. Oh, I forgot to mention this shop right here, in the middle, beside the student union. It's the bookshop. And, as you can see, it's always busy, always popular. Shop That's... in the middle? F. Oh. Very good, very good. Beside the student union. You can buy newspapers, magazines and stationery there, plus a few clothing items as well, just as you can... So, come on, look, look. First time? Uh, it's comparatively easy. Right, not too bad, right? Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Now, let's look at this one. Mm -hmm. Again, they're going to start us from what? A certain starting point. Did you notice last other key starting point, Chilo? Amadir, we restaurant gula. Right. And ekane dharo, guest house of a starting point. Tapredako, we have a tea house. Then we have a tennis court. We've got some trees. Then we have some tables or something like that, right? It looks like some sort of table or whatever. Notice, um, there's two options. So, rasta gula shesho aja ekhane. So, ora kinte egula like kore, butcho egula mudde like kore. So, be kind of careful, but nothing to worry about. And Amar pro tip always is to do this. Let's say starting point or a bulbe. You go left towards the tea house. Then to uh, up towards the stores on the right, and then once you get to the other road, go left. So you kind of follow as they talk, right? And they talk in a weird accent, so it's kind of hard to catch sometimes. But the way you do it, I mean, paper based, always it's by using following. And even if you're doing computer based, you can use the mouse at least to kind of follow the direction. So let's try. You have some time to look at questions 7 to 10. Fast forward it. And answer questions 7 to 10. All right, let's get started. During your stay here, you might want to know what there is to do. Let's turn to the plan so I can familiarize you with the layout of the park. Most tourists would choose to stay in our guest house. Look, so guest house is a starting point. Located in the southeast corner. It features 63 tastefully appointed guest rooms, many of which offer spectacular views of the park. Oh, yeah. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have a map draw. I have a tag. I have a tag. I computer generated. I have a tag. But usually, I have a north-south view. I have a tag. I have a tag. I have a tag. I have a tag. I have many of which offer spectacular views of the park. You'll find a home away from home at our guest house. But for those who want to experience the natural beauty up close, there is also a campsite. When you get out of the guest house, go straight ahead, turn right at the end of the road, 
to your left, there is a campsite amongst Kibolo. Straight here, right to left. So straight all the way, turn right, and on your left, there is a campsite. Good. Mm -hmm. The trees where you can spend the night. Sorry. Under the stars, together with owls and chipmunks. Sorry, well. If you look at the top left of the plan, you will notice a picnic area. You can either bring your own food or we can deliver food to you. Barbecue is an option. The business center is situated directly opposite the picnic area. It provides directly opposite. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? A, exactly. A, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's not next to. So the prepositions are very important, guys. That's so next to hello mm -hmm. to B. Right. Directly opposite, Hachi. A. Very good. Oh. Fantastic. Much kind of road as a question. Jiba? Right, 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 right. Exactly. Definitely. So that prepositional language is essential in maps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes conferencing suites, meeting rooms, and is equipped with the latest multimedia facilities. Wired, as well as wireless, high-speed internet is available within the entire premises. The center is designed to cater to both individual travelers and corporate groups. Visitors can also go to the museum, which holds a vast collection that exhibits local history and a natural habitat. You start from the guest house, just turn left at the first conjunction, then walk past the tea house, turn right. You'll see the museum after making the third right. Have you found it? Third right. Right, so you walk out of the guest house, past mm -hmm. the tree house, you turn right, and on the third right. So it will go away? G. Very good. But pretty easy, right? To spend a delightful afternoon with a book and a fresh cup of coffee, you can go to the only cafe in the park. From the guest house, you go straight, then take the second right, and you'll see the cafe right in front of you. Second right. D. Which is? Very good. D for dog. Doable can do. Right, I want to show you a Cambridge one. All right, let's get let's get a look at this. It's kind of weird. So, Akondako, north, south, east, west, D, D, it's a car park outside. Acta car park and by day act option outside. A lot of these roads end at answer choices, right. And then there's a little road that leads to C. About eight out there, are a key circular building. Then they have us a shop. Shop at Pachak, a Pachak of option asset. And look at this definitely shop Durek into a bulbe right across the road from the shop. Which are eight actor option pack B. In a Matariko. Picnic area, reception, and Ekan Abar give the DHA. You are here. So we're at the reception. So we're just going to follow the road. All right. Section two. Section two. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 15. The questions eleven to fifteen. Now let's start by seeing where you can go. As you can see on our map in the brochure I've given you, we are here at the reception block. We have a famous mill which is used for making and processing materials such as steel and coal. To visit it, just go straight ahead, north along the path in front of you, 
and you'll find it at the end of the path. Now, towards the east, go along the path from our starting point. Turn left to the corner and then turn right. There is a car park at the east end of the lane. To the west, there is a museum. Pass the shop around the crossroads. See materials such as steel and coal. So, you can it, just go straight ahead, yeah. north, along the path in front of you, and you'll find it at the end of the path. Now, towards the east, go along the path from our starting point. Turn left to the corner and then turn right. There is a car park at the east end of the lane. Oh, yeah. To the west, there is a museum. Pass the shop around the crossroads, and it is just located at the west end of the road. And oh. Pass the shop around the crossroad, just located at the end of the road. East end of the lane. To the west, there is a museum. Pass the shop around the crossroads, and it is just located at the west end of the road. Hey. And by the way, the shop is specialized in selling a variety of all related stuff. And it again, the section two, do you notice how it's a little bit harder? <laughs> Go section fast. Two. All right, a little bit faster. But don't let them distract you. That's the thing. Extra information there, they will distract you. Okay, so be careful. That's one of the biggest things. Can bondo. It I mean always bully class. But I mean bold bully. Souvenirs, including key rings, postcards, tin made, Lewis Chessman. Jamon, all of this stuff is extra information. I don't need anything about any of this. This is all garbage. Mm -hmm. And even Roman soldiers, which are made from beautiful pyrite. Whatever. If you are interested in the laboratory where oh. scientific experiments, analyses, and research are carried out, it is situated at the southern part of the park, opposite the shop. Southern, southern part. Southern part of the shop. Opposite, opposite the, of the shop. H. Very good. Opposite the shop. Are you going It is situated at the southern part of the park, opposite the shop. I bet you'll be happy to hear that this laboratory is also used for gold and crystal refinement. So don't miss this one for the sake of it. I assume by this time, you'll all need some rest and refreshment. So we have an excellent cafe, which caters for delicious food and beverages at the other side of the road, next to the shop, of course. Next to the shop, other side. Yeah, other side, well, of course. Just food and beverages at the other side of the road next to the shop, of course. Other Gee. side of the road next to the shop. Answer choice key. Next to the shop. Other side of the road, he shall go to the lab. Lab at the other side of the road next to the shop. If you want to spend some time in the fresh air, we have a perfect picnic area which is just right and northeast of the reception block. Further east, there is a path leading to the northern part of the park. At the end of it is the toilet. Now, most of the visitors would choose to use the mailbox and send... The end of the path is the... Toilet. Toilet. So it's going to be E, not F. Right. Can you like the part two? It's too difficult. It's too difficult, it's too fast. Eh? Now, this is where we're looking more like ILD. And it's our ILD as a format. Ashton, they click on it. Oh, their presentation. This is when it gets fun. Okay. Um, notice they can act as genius theater. Some of the journal old railway line. So, AJ genius the old railway line. It's a matter of fact. Okay, because on a show, I'm a bull bit. Across old railway line or near the old railway line, but too. Tarpore Amadar Ekanadako, we have Willow Lane, Tourist Information Center, Pine Street, Town Hall, Mountain Road, Ski Pass, and at a Gurano Pachano Rasta, Kirby Road. So Kirby Road tak into Matareko because Kirby Road to the Akin to answer there. Okay. And let's look at this one more time. We've got Pine Street, Pond, Willow Lane, Tourist, Town Hall, Gala. Before you hear to 20. Welcome to everyone here.
I hope you enjoy your stay in our village and enjoy the local scenery. I'll tell you a bit about the forest and mountain tracks in a minute. But first, I'll just give you an idea of where everything is in the village. So, we're here in the Tourist Information Center, and when you come out of the center, you're on Willow Lane, just opposite the pond. If you want to get to the supermarket for your supplies of food and water, go right. That's the quickest way, and then turn right at the top of Willow Lane, and it's the second building you come to. Second building. Very good. Opposite the old railway station. Opposite the old railway station. Confirm where you are. Very good. If you're planning on doing some serious climbing and you need some equipment, we do have an excellent climbing supply store just five minutes walk away. Turn left once you're outside the tourist information center. Take Willow Lane all the way up to Pine Street. You want to go left along here. Then keep walking and go up Mountain Road on your right until you come to the next turning on the left. Head down there and you'll come to the climbing supply store. One second. On your right. Take Willow Lane all the way up to Pine Street. You want to go left along here. Then keep walking and go up Mountain Road on your right until you come to the next turning on the left. Head down there and you'll come to the climbing supply store. If you get to the small all building that's Mountain Road books the mountain road to make it too far. So I can have mountain road again to Daco. It can be a shoe, it goes like this. This is your mountain. Okay. Uh, uh, and the last information there. And you'll come to the climbing supply store. Shuno. If you get to the small building that sells ski passes, you'll know you've gone too far. I'm gonna answer. D bear hulo. Hobo sheshe D bear hulo. The club. Mountain road is the answer choice. Hoy either A or Toba D. Right. And Jahuni bollo. If you get to the little store. Near the ski passes, you've gone too far. Tamane ke to the beshi far chola jata le ra hundred percent ita hobe D. Right. You also need to head to Pine Street for the museum. It's small, but well worth a visit if you're interested in the history of the village and the old gold mining industry. So, when you reach Pine Street from here, you'll see the old railway line on the other side of the road. Turn left into Pine Street and keep going until you come to Mountain Road. And just past here, the museum will be on your left, just behind the railway line. Mm. No, right. Don't worry about crossing over the tracks. The train stopped running through here in 1985. If you're planning on following one of the easier forest walks, you might like to hire a bicycle. To get to the hire shop, again, you need to head to Pine Street. On the left-hand side of Pine Street, you'll see the town hall. Go down the little road that you come to just before it, and you'll find the bike hire shop just behind the hall. Hmm. They have a e, right? hmm. good range of bikes, so I'm sure you'll find something that suits your needs. Last but not least, if you're hungry after a long day's trek, I can recommend our local cafe. Again, when you leave the tourist information center, turn right and follow Willow Lane until it joins Pine Street. And right opposite, on the far side of the railway tracks, is the cafe. See, right? And notice in section two, they're giving you more complex data. Take that. I don't need a data presentation. It's too difficult to say, right? But still, again, doable. Not too bad. But remember, and do you guys notice Jami always Firiashi Ekane? Because that is the starting point. They're gonna. I'm going to do the Ekan take it to the Hisha Portam. 
আমি এখান থেকে এখানে আসতে আসতে আমার ব্রেনে প্রসেস করতে করতে কিন্তু আমার অ্যাটেনশন চলে যেত সো অলওয়েজ রিমেম্বার আফটার ইউ फाइंड एन आंसर গো স্ট্রেট ব্যাক টু দ্য স্টার্টিং পয়েন্ট इट्स अ गुड इट्स अ गुड हैबिट टू हैव Just All right. Um, okay, so the entrance here, visitor center, I guess, I guess right? Yeah. Okay. And this is, again, more Cambridge format, like so. So they'll give it to you like this. And, okay, we've got Joe Tremaine's cultures. And notice, Egola Kindu very clearly is pushed up by the Bali. So Egola, they have the attention to the attention. Joe Tremaine, Giorgio Catalucci, Garden Gallery, Longhouse, like, but Port Lake in Dohai. But if you notice on the map, we've got the visitor center, then we have um, education center. Can I chutu chutu pot asana? That's a chutu chutu pot, mm-hmm. like a bridge asse, like a lake asse, kitchen steps asse, gatspala asse, forest asse, car park asse. And do you see this? A winding road, winding road. Lower lake, upper lake. So, a genius gula dore came to answer the people. So, let's see. First, you have some time. Questions 21 to 24. Okay. Now, let me just tell you a bit about what you can see in the sculpture park. If you look at your map, you'll see the visitor center where we are now at the bottom, just by the entrance. Since we only have an hour, you might not be able to get right around the park, but you can choose to visit some of the highlights. You might like to take a look at the Joe Tremaine sculptures, which are displayed on this side of the upper lake, just behind the education center and near the bridge. Just behind the education center. (laughs) They're really impressive. But please remember not to let your children climb on them. One of our most popular exhibitions is the Giorgio Catalucci bird sculptures. They're just across the bridge on the north side of the lower lake. I love the way they're scattered around in the long grass beside the lake, looking as if they're just about to take to their wings. You could also go to the garden gallery. It's on this side of Lower lake kache konta? Right. Of the upper lake. From go to the garden gallery. It's on this side of the upper lake. From the visitor center, you go to the education center, then keep on along the path and you'll see it on your right. Right side of the garden gallery, F. There's an exhibition of animal carvings there, which is well worth a look. We also have the long house. That's quite a walk. From here, you go to the bridge and then turn left on the other side. Soon you'll see a winding pathway going up towards the northern boundary of the park. Go up there and you'll find it at the top. They have some abstract methods. Yeah, but... Yeah. Like a winding. Always remember, he said, Gula Dura Rakba. Okay? It trained Gula Fala Kulay Pava. We got another one. This is section three, I believe. A little bit harder. <laughs> okay, section three. It's a little bit harder, but not too bad. This one we have. Look at this, guys. The word junction. What does junction mean? Rail station. Do it at the station up about Duita Rasta meet Kurtusa, right? So it can be with the junction of I'm usually believe the junction of Days Road and Thomas Street. I mean Genia Gonabulasina. Mm-hmm. And today I'm going to the junction of Thomas Street and Canterbury Street. The Dinia Gonabulasina. Right. If I say the junction of Days Road and Hills Street, we don't hear about F, na. Right. F or about A, big na. And if I say Evelyn Street and and Hill Street, the junction there, B, right. Mm-hmm. And that break and the supermarket of Pashin Faka Jagas, Darmaniki, might be an answer. Hmm. Okay. So let's play and let's see what happens. The 
residents in here. Now, trying to 30. Now, we've also put together a map, which we sent out to all the residents in the area. And on the map, we've marked the proposed changes. Firstly, we'll plant mature pine trees to provide shelter and shade just to the right of the supermarket. In pine trees, extra information. Trees keep going to answer. No. Egg them. Days Road. In order to address the traffic problems, the pavements on the corner of Carberry and Thomas Street will be widened. On the corner of Carberry Street and Thomas Street Thomas. will be widened. Don't doubt. 25B. Very good. This will help to reduce the speed of vehicles entering Thomas Street. We think it's very important to separate the local residential streets from the main road. So the roadway at the entrance to Thomas Street from Day's Road will be painted red. Entrance to Thomas Street from Day's Road will be painted red. G. Of it. G. G. Should mark it more clearly and act as a signal for traffic to slow down. One way of making sure that the pedestrians are safe is to increase signage at intersections. A keep clear sign will be erected at the junction of Evelyn Street and Hill Street to enable traffic to exit at all times. New sign goes out. B. Right. It's at the junction of Evelyn Street and Hill Street. Something we're planning to do to help control the flow of traffic in the area is to install traffic lights halfway down Hill Street where it crosses Day's Road. Now, Hill Street, where it crosses Day's Road. What are you doing? F. F. Right, half of the Right? Mm -hmm. We haven't only thought about the cars and traffic, of course. There's also something for the children. We're going to get school children in the area to research a local story, the life of a local sports hero, perhaps. And an artist will incorporate that story into paintings on the wall of a building on the other side of Hill Street from the supermarket. Building at Wale. Other side of Hill Street from the supermarket. Kunda. And finally, we've agreed to build a new children's playground, which will be at the other end of Hill Street, close to the intersection with Carberry Street. Wonderful. Carberry and Hill? Playground. Mm -hmm. e. Speed bar second data to the mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's another one. This one is kind of tricky too. Section four. Okay. Might be tricky. We've got a main entrance, main buildings. We've got a sports center, north, south, east, west. And notice how close these guys are. So I mean play Google to Mashuno. Let's see what happens. Just section four. <laughs> Now, if I can just show on this wall map here where they all are, uh, you might like to go and have a look around. If you come into the main university entrance at the first junction, you'll find that Brown Hall is on the corner opposite the theater. Corner opposite the theater. Very good. So you're nice and near the station here, though I think it can get a bit noisy with traffic. The same applies to Blake residence, which is directly facing the junction to the university entrance. Facing the junction to the university entrance. What the face code does it? Very good. Very good. These halls are often used by medical students and such like, as they're out all day, so don't notice the noise. Anyway, if you then walk along Campus Road towards the main circle, you'll see the library on the corner, and Queen's Building is just past that as you head north. Just past the library as you head north. Very good. 
you will find that it is quieter here and you may get fewer visitors. By the way, the circle is quite a feature of the campus as it's set into the hills and has a brand new sports center in the middle. It's worth going to look around it. Now, the Parkway Flats are on the opposite corner to the library facing the circle. Uh, opposite corner to the library facing the circle. F. Right. Opposite corner to the library facing the circle. Mm -hmm. As you head towards the main buildings. The main buildings are only about a five minute walk from here and places in these halls go quickly. So my advice is to reserve your place as soon as possible. Then Temple Rise is inside the circle next to the sports center, but further from the main university buildings. Now, if you'd like. Further from the main buildings inside the circle. D. Further from the buildings. D. The like to go off and physically so can okay, like look maps not too bad mm -hmm. I can put in the ticket sir eh? good 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 and I do section two section three the hina key mm -hmm. do we need to fresh out our brother let's see let's open up a Cambridge Weather came on the Hello, I like you. I am the beautiful diner. I am the beautiful diner. I am the beautiful diner. I am the beautiful with their hollow. I think. Southern Southern Canada is okay. Mm -hmm. North more the big like a Frozen. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, here we go. Welcome to IELTS. So you can contact. All right, section two, Durbo. Policy. Apart from a more dress code here, this is partly to encourage sorry, healthy. Sorry, sorry, let me kind of. Mute and then move the help. Nice MCQs. Yeah, all right. Let's look at these MCQs first. And initially, same to No problem. No problem. No, I chat you for it. No, I'm being coincident. Oops. My bad. Ah, voila. There we go. There we go. Fill in the gaps. All right, what do we got here initially? One word and or a number. So what does that mean, first of all, guys? It's going to be, it can be like, um, let's say, first May. One word and a number. Otoba May, Otoba first. One of the two. But it can be a word and a number. But one word only. Okay, the math I go. Baro AJ 21 number answer. Answer to that. It consists of around 65 students. So mm -hmm. if you want to write 65, that's up to you. Mm -hmm. 60 5 will be over. Otherwise, 65 number of Bosha is a baro. Which is a baro. 
it is due to play in a blank band competition eta bolte se ki type of band competition okay okay tar pore dekhi it has been invited to play in the towns eta dekho at a city jodi eta band at a city te ba town er ya ta dake invite kor tale ki parade hobe ba inauguration hobe ba ceremony je kono ekta ki ekta hobe na like that they will listen to a talk by a so ekta manush hobe joe will discuss a with the band so so ekta noun hobe and 26 dekhi joe hopes the band will attend a blank next month another noun so let's see so how are you getting on Twenty-one to twenty-six. So, how are you getting on with your teaching practice at the high school, Joe? Well, I've been put in charge of the school marching band, and it's quite a responsibility. I'd like to talk it over with you. Go ahead. You better start by giving me a bit of background. Okay. Well, the band has students in it from all years. So they're aged eleven to eighteen, and there are about fifty of them all together. Fifty. It's quite a popular activity within the school. I've never worked with a band of more than twenty before, and this is very different. I can imagine. They aren't really good enough to enter national band competitions, but they're in a regional one later in the term. They're in a what competition? Not national. International. Regional. Regional, that go high, but you know, tricky. It's very different. I can imagine. They aren't really good enough to enter national band competitions, but they're in a regional one later in the term. They're in a regional one. They aren't good enough to play in a international. Term. Even if they don't win, and I don't expect them to, hopefully it'll be an incentive for them to try and improve. Yes, hopefully. Well, now the town council's organizing a carnival in the summer. Towner kiya be carnival, and the band has been asked to perform. If you ask me, they aren't really up to it yet, and I need to get them functioning better as a band and in a very short time. Have you been doing anything with them apart from practicing the music? I mean, I played a recording I came across. Of a drummer talking about how playing in a band had changed his life. So listen to a talk by a drummer. Drummer, very good. I think it was an after dinner speech. I thought it was pretty inspiring because being in the band had stopped him from getting involved in crime. The students seemed to find it interesting too. That's good. I'm planning to show them that old film from the 1940s. Strike up the band and talk about it with the students. What do you think? Discuss an old. Dutta paronai, you know. That's good. I'm planning to show them that old film from the 1940s. Strike up the band and talk about it with the students. What do you think? I'm planning on showing them a. Think a word, Bolsa. It stopped him from getting involved in crime. You know? The students seem to find it interesting too. That's good. I'm planning to show them that old film from the 1940s. Strike up the band and talk about it with the students. What do you think? Discuss a mm -hmm. film. Old one, not just film. Good idea. Right. As it's about a school band, it might make the students realize how much they can achieve if they work together. That's what I've got in mind. I'm hoping I can take some of the band to a parade that's going to take place next month. What is that? Parade. Parade. P A R A D E. Okay. Good. All right. Our favorite one list. Okay, we've got a flautist, a tromponer, a, a trumpetist, a trombonist, a percussionist. Okay, so there's a lot of different types of band members. <laughs> But look at this makes a lot of mistakes in rehearsals 
keeps making unhelpful suggestions, has difficulty with rhythm, absent, misses too many, has a health problem, medicine, asthma, doesn't mix well with other students, aggressive, right? Bhul kore, bhul suggestion dae, rhythm rakhte parana, absent, chop shumai, oshusto, onno pola bande chata mana mari kore. Dekito ki bole? Some time to look at questions 20 to 30. Can I tell you about a few people in the band who I'm finding it quite difficult to cope with? I'm sure you'll have some ideas about what I can do. Go ahead. There's a flautist who says she loves playing in the band. We rehearse twice a week after school, but she's hardly ever there. Mrs. Too Many Rears. Good. Then she looks for me the next day and gives me a very plausible reason. She says she had to help her mother or she's been ill, but to be honest, I don't believe her. Oh dear. It's a trick sticky kills it. But I'm not sure if you're a good guy, or if you're a good guy, I'm going to put them in. I'm going to email it. I'm going to put them in. So you look careful. Good. Any more students with difficulties? Plenty. Uh, there's a trumpeter who thinks she's the best musician in the band, though she she thinks she's the best. One again. That's an easy answer. I said, "Nah, she's not the best." She thinks she's the best. She thinks she's the best. Yeah, no problem. Eh, I'm just doing this for fun. 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 She's always saying what she thinks other people should do, which makes my job pretty difficult. See, she's always telling other kids what to do. Right, Agbashuna? Who thinks she's the best? Difficulties? Plenty. Uh, there's a trumpeter who thinks she's the best musician in the band. No, she certainly isn't. She's always saying what she thinks other people should do, which makes my job pretty difficult. She sounds a bit of a nightmare. You can say that again. Okay, so Akon, I'm a guest who did a bowl lump. Doesn't mix with other students. But do you see B? Keeps making unhelpful suggestions. Let's see what they say. More students with difficulties? Plenty. There's a trumpeter who thinks she's the best musician in the band. No, she certainly isn't. She's always saying what she thinks other people should do. She's always saying what she thinks other people should do. It's going to be B. Not mixing with others. There's nothing about mixing. It's not about that she doesn't have friends. Nothing like that. She's telling other people what to do. Which B. makes my job pretty difficult. Tricky, she tricky. sounds a bit of a nightmare. You can say that again. Uh, one of the trombonists has got an impressive sense of rhythm and could be an excellent musician. Except that he has breathing difficulties. Breathing difficulty. Okay. Very good. And he doesn't really have enough breath for the trombone. He'd be much better off playing percussion, for instance. But he refuses to give up. So he ends up only playing half the notes. I suppose you have to admire his determination. Maybe. One of the percussionists isn't too bad. But he never seems to interact with other people. And he always rushes off as soon as the rehearsal ends. He doesn't interact with other people. Mm. F. F. Exactly. Okay, like a section for Dakabo. And you just welcome drinks, Saske. Okay, okay. Do you see this bad boy? Oh, Babari. <laughs> One word only. Well, here. Okay. There is a lot of extra information. Trust me when I say this. You must, must, must focus on the reading. So the piano, the question, the thirty-one or answer. The second I hear piano, right, or I hear the lady's name, Lisa Lim. Lisa Lim ne onik kichu bolbe, but jokhon bolbe piano, piano rash pashe, piano and some other type of instrument hobe, tik na? Piano and flute. Piano and drums, piano and cymbal, whatever, right? Tabar dako, a commission kothara. Do you see 31 and last day commission? It's impossible to change, right? 
and compositions compositions এটাও কিন্তু impossible to change যখনই commission শুনবো composition শুনবো তখনই 32 এর answer আসবে and এখানে কি বলতেছে compositions show a great deal of এটা হবে variety and are drawn from various cultural sources দেখলে variety হবে 100% just guess করে বললাম তো বো it could be something else but it's going to be a descriptive word বুঝছো something describing the compositions so composition এ শুনলে তখন attention যখনই এই অ্যানসারটা আসবে তখন আমি কিন্তু আই ডোন্ট আই ডোন্ট রিয়েলি কেয়ার বাট লেটস জাস্ট সি হিয়ার এক্সপ্রেসিভ কথাটা দেন অ্যানাদার অ্যানসার ফেস্টিভাল শুনলে আরেকটা অ্যানসার অর রেস্টিয়া শুনলে আরেকটা অ্যানসার ওকে তারপরে কান বন্ধ আনটিল ইউ হিয়ার দ্য টাওয়ার অফ রিমোটনেস পারফর্ম বাই পিয়ানো এন্ড ফ্লুট এন্ড ড্রামস এন্ড ট্রাম্পেটস রাইট ইজ গোনা হ্যাভ টু বি এন ইনস্ট্রুমেন্ট আবার চুপ মাথা মাথা একদম মানে একদম কান বন্ধ অস্ট্রেলিয়া শুনলে কালচারালের সাথে একটা ওয়ার্ড ডি দিয়ে যায় কালচারাল ডাইভার্সিটি তবু আমি বললাম যে তোমরা শুনো তখন আবার কান বন্ধ আনটিল আই হিয়ার পিয়ানো হি স্টাডি দিস বিফোর স্টাডিং মিউজিক ম্যাথস ফিজিক্স কেমিস্ট্রি রাইট থার্টি নাইনে became well known as a, compu- a composer of music for movies musicians right and that put a connection was a festival in music sorry talking about concert festival will include uh, music for uh, for the 1996 blank acha 1996 shunle ekta answer ashbe ami tobo play kori tomar try kor ajke ami theory abar korbo but ajke just let's see what happens Fill in the gap, so easy enough. It's in an arts festival. It can have a difference. You're going to break name. They're going to go all the way from 31 all the way to 40. So they are not going to stop. And they're going to give you one minute to read. So we don't need to read. I'm already read course. I'll do a theory class. Next class, I'm going to do two and three practice. I'll do four and three practice. Okay. As you all know, the university is planning an arts festival for later this year. And here in the music department, we've planned three concerts. These will be public performances, and the program has just been finalized. The theme of the festival is links between the UK and Australia. Do you see how much unnecessary stuff they're saying? (laughs) And this is reflected in the music. Each concert will feature both British and Australian composers. Nobody cares. I'll tell you briefly about the Australian music, as you probably won't be familiar with that. The first concert will include music by Liza Lim, who was born in Perth, Western Australia, in 1966. As a child, Lim originally learned to play the piano, like so many children, and also the violin. But when she was a... Answer key? Violin. Violin. The violin. The violin. The composition. 11. Her teachers encouraged her to start composing. She found this was her real strength. And she studied and later taught composition, both in Australia and in other countries. As a composer, she has received commissions from numerous orchestras, other performers, and festivals in several countries. Liza Lim's compositions are vibrant and full of energy, and she often explores Asian and Australian Aboriginal cultural... So, variety now, Bulleki Bulsa, great deal of... Energy. Energy. Other performers... She has received commissions from numerous orchestras, other performers, and festivals in several countries. Liza Lim's compositions are vibrant and full of energy. Full of energy. And she often explores Asian and Australian Aboriginal cultural sources, including the native instrument, the didgeridoo. This is featured in a work called The Compass, her music is very expressive. So, although it is complex, 
it has the power of connecting with audiences. So very expressive and also see the complex. complex. Very good. And performers alike. In the festival, we're going to give a semi-staged performance of the Oristia. This is an opera in seven parts. What is it? An opera. O-P-E-R-A. Called the Orestria. Based on the trilogy of ancient Greek tragedies by Aeschylus. Lim composed this when she was in her mid-twenties. And she also wrote the text along with Barry Kosky. It's performed by six singers, a dancer, and an orchestra that, as well as standard orchestral instruments, includes electric guitar and a traditional Turkish stringed instrument. Lim wrote that because the stories in the tragedies are not easy to tell. The sounds she creates are also disturbing, and they include... Sounds are... And disturbing. disturbing, disturbing. Breathing, sobbing, laughing, and whistling. The work lasts around 75 minutes, and the rest of the concert will consist of orchestral works by the British composers Rafe Vaughan Williams and Frederick Delius. Moving on now to our second concert. This will begin with instrumental music by British composers, Benjamin Britten and Judith Weir. After the interval, we'll go to Australia for a piece by Ross Edwards, The Tower of Remoteness. According to Edwards, the inspiration for this piece came from nature when he was sitting alone in the dry bed of a creek, overshadowed by the leaves of palm trees listening to the birds and insects. The Tower of Remoteness is scored for piano and clarinet. It is spelling the Barbara clarinet. C-L-A-R-I-N-E-T, clarinet. Again, it will tie to our spelling. Edward says he realized years after writing the piece that he had subconsciously modeled its opening phrase on a bird call. Ross Edwards was born in 1943 in Sydney, Australia, and studied at the Sydney Conservatorium of Music and the universities of Adelaide and Sydney. He's well known in Australia, and in fact, he's one of the country's most performed composers. He's written a wide range of music, from symphonies and concertos to some composed specifically for children. Edwards's music has been described as being deeply connected to Australia, and it can be regarded as a celebration of the diversity of cultures that Australia can be proud of. Here we cultural diversity. Diverse. The last of the three Australian composers to be represented in our festival is Carl Vine. Born in 1954, Vine, like Liza Lim, comes from Perth, Western Australia. He took up the cornet at the age of five, switching to the piano five years later. However, he went to university to study physics before changing to composition. After graduating, he moved to Sydney and worked as a freelance pianist and composer. Before long, he had become prominent in Australia as a composer for dance, and in fact, has written 25 scores of that type. In our third concert, Vine will be represented by his music for the flag. Oh, study key concert before studying music? Physics. Physics. Good. And over ceremony of the Olympics held in 1996. Oh. In our third concert, Vine will be represented by his music for the flag handover ceremony of the Olympics held in 1996. This seven minute orchestral piece. Oh, for, so 40 kilos. 39 kilos. I'm Kelvin, I guess. Olympic dance. 39. Before changing to composition. Uh -huh. After graduating, 
he took up the cornet at the age of five, switching to the piano five years later. However, he went to university to study physics before changing to composition. After graduating, he so physics, moved to Sydney and worked as a freelance pianist and composer. Okay. Before long, he had become prominent in Australia as a composer for dance. Oh, dance. Very yeah. good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very nice dance. And in fact, has written 25 scores of that type. In our third concert, Vine will be represented by his music for the flag handover ceremony of the Olympics held in 1996. This seven minute orchestral piece so was, of course, heard... Olympics. Olympics. Right. Can we like section four? Ek two matha nashro na. A little bit unique, but not something we need to really worry about. Um, hmm. Section four, pore. Apa do Section two and three, I'm right. We see focus pore. Maps check on laglo. Hmm. Okay. Last question, abidai nee na ki. Okay, bhaiya. I will thank you on Wednesday. Okay, bhaiya. Inshallah. Allah Hafiz. Assalamualaikum.